Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, calendars on your iPod Touch or iPhone. This will work for either one. Probably even with your regular iPod, like iPod Chromatic, something like that. Um, so, I have the iPhone 3G, so I'll go to calendars. And then, say on February 19th, I want to make an event. So I click the plus button. Um, we'll give it a name, just a random name. Uh, oh, whoops. I'll do just a random uh, location. And, uh, yep, it'll do go from there. You can toy around with those, and then it'll make it right there. Now I'll show you, I'll show you syncing it up to your Mac or PC, just to iTunes. So here we go. Okay, sorry about that. Now, um, oh, sorry. Now on iTunes, <clears throat> you can, uh, so I'll be using a, just a regular USB cord that came with my iPhone. So I'm going to plug that in. Okay, and then I'm going to hook my iPhone up there. Hope that didn't scratch that. Okay, <clears throat> now it will sync. <clears throat> and I already have my uh, mine checked, so I'll go to info, and then down under the calendars. Um, if you're a kid like me, you shouldn't have too much going on, so I just sync all calendars. And then something should come up saying uh, two two things conflict, like here. Um, I'm gonna add two events. It's from my iPhone, so I'm gonna. Click sync calendars. And I did not have the that event that I added before um what's it called? Before I added the event on my iPhone. So now I'll open up iCal. And I did it on February nineteenth, I think. And here we go. As you can see it did it double click it it had all the settings that I set for it and yeah so you can do that with any event um, you can get more complex with it but I don't really need to I'm not all that busy so um so yep that's pretty much it thanks for watching